Les colonisateurs de chez nous en Afrique du Sud appellent cette chanson Click Song parce que eux ils ne savent pas dire où on va aller. This is bringing back memories, affectionately known as Mama Africa. Miriam Makeba was not only South Africa's musical icon, but also a global humanitarian ambassador. Now, this year we recognize the sixth anniversary of her passing. That was on the 9th of November 2008. It's also exactly 50 years of her historical declaration, that anti apartheid speech at the United Nations General Assembly. That was on the 9th of March 1964. Well, to remember and honor her legacy, the Okuruleni Jazz Comes Alive will commemorate Miriam Makeba through songs performed by mamas and divas featuring Dorothy Masuku, Abigail Kubeka, and Zenzi Makeba Lee. Now, that's Makeba's granddaughter, believe it or not. Well, joining me in studio now, I've got Dorothy and Abigail, other legends that we have here in Thank South you. Africa. It's so nice to have you. Welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you so much for having yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you are watching the footage now of Miriam performing in West Africa. I mean, she was in her 30s at that time. Yes. You were with yes. her. Yes, I was with her. Yeah. Because I was on tour with the you know, Africa and Europe. Yeah. And I mean, what was it like performing alongside Maria Makeba? Um, for me, it was normal because we worked together here in South Africa for a very long time in the African jazz and variety, you know. And um, so when she was out there, she called me to come up and yeah. we were together yeah. Yeah. for a very and long time. And she would just light up a stage, I mean, because what I'm seeing there, um, yeah, from that, that yeah. young, youthful, beautiful oh, face, yeah. that smile, that voice, yeah. she was the full package. Yeah, oh, she yes. was. Sandy was she was. everything that a musician yes. mm. should be. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. And yet, off stage, she was different, yes. very shy. Miriam had uh, She was shy off stage. Very shy off stage. She was a shy person. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's amazing. She never spoke. Mm -mm. She would sit there and let two people mm. bubble. Blah, 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 blah. And she would just be looking yeah. at you quietly. Yeah. And, and, and to have such, such confidence to stand up in the United Nations and make a speech like she did in 1964, yeah. and that, that takes more courage coming from a shy person. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Because she, she was, uh, she, it, it was from her heart. She was talking about what she was experiencing, mm -hmm. what she was feeling, and what made her, you know, sad in her own country. Yeah. It wasn't something that she, it, she was here to look for and, and make up stories. No. She was just being honest yeah. and yeah. just telling the truth. Yeah. 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 Uh, just speaking from the heart, how influential was that speech? It was very influential because I'll tell you something, there were people at that time who didn't know what you, when you say South Africa, they thought, what are you talking about, yeah. you know? But uh, Miriam introduced this part of the world when she went to the States. Mm. People began to say, South Africa, mm. where yeah. is South? Because a lot of people, like especially black people in the States, they knew about Morocco. They knew about that part of Africa, you know, not much of the South. Mm. But yeah. Zenzi, Miriam, I mean, you know, she, she introduced this mm. part of through yeah. a song. Mm. Yeah. We've actually got the speech, and, and, and just for viewers, let's, let's play a little, just a, a, 
a small cop, um, um, excerpt from the speech that, that she gave uh, at yeah. the UN General yeah. Assembly mm. um, back in 1964. This year, of course, marking the 50th anniversary. Let's mm. have a quick listen. I ask you and all the leaders of the world, would you act differently? Would you keep silent and do nothing if you were in our place? Would you not resist if you were allowed no rights in your own country? because the color of your skin is different to that of the rulers. And if you were punished for even asking for equality, I appeal to you and through you to all the countries of the world to do everything you can to stop the coming tragedy. I appeal to you to save the lives of our leaders, to empty the prisons of all those who should never have been there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I mean, you look back all these years, I and mean, she was in her 20s at that time. Yeah. She sounded like a young That's the time child she, appealing yeah. to the world. Yeah. She was with Harry Belafonte and them at the time. And yeah. she didn't go there, especially to go and address the United Nations. No. She had gone to America because of the premiere, it was a premiere of a, a documentary, a political do documentary that was being shot in South Africa, where we performed with her, yeah. the Skylarks with Miriam Makeba. And when it was premiered, you know, and then they asked her to come over. And when she got there, after the premiere, and then she, she, she hooked up with Bella Fonte, and then Bella Fonte put her on the next platform. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. So she left. She wasn't a politician. We were all shocked, you know, when she, all this was happening. We were saying, what? Well, <laughs> she's in the politician yes. now. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. That just shows you. She, she's, she was so influential in her way and so she beautiful. But, yeah, I'm sorry Zenzi's not here because she, yeah, this, of course, being um, um, Maria McKeever's granddaughter, mm. what, is, what is it like for her? You know, what, what's it like performing alongside her? Because uh, we're going to talk about what's happening tonight because this is massive. But Zenzi, working with her, does she sound like her grandmother? The person who worked more with her was Zenzi's mother. Yeah. Because Bongi, Bongi was real Makeba. You know, she, she, mm. she was very hip. She really was her mother's daughter. Now, the granddaughter is doing it. Yeah. But not as much as her mother. She's also shy. Okay. Yeah, she's very, very, shy. very, very shy. She's shy. She always says, oh, you know, I feel so honored. honored. And I'm, you know, to be working with you. Yeah. I, I just don't know whether I'm doing the right thing or yeah. is it okay? Oh, it oh, sing, you yeah. know, she's, she's, yeah. she's so... That's yes. beautiful. Yeah. When she sees me yeah. and Abigail, yeah. she, she's seeing her grandmother. Yeah. Well, of course. And mm. she's starstruck. Let's yeah. not kid. Yeah, she I is. mean, we get oh, starstruck is. when you guys walk in here. <laughs> um, tell me quickly, I've got to wrap this. Uh, yeah. Tonight, you're performing. Tomorrow night. It's tomorrow night, I beg yes. your pardon. It is yes. tomorrow night, you're performing at the Okuruleni mm. uh, Jazz. Oh, tell me, um, tickets, can we get them on CompuTicket or where do we get tickets? Um. Do you know? I'm going to find out. Don't worry. You, you out. keep yeah, your voices. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> right. So I'll find out the tickets, but it is tomorrow night. It is tomorrow yes. night. And this yeah. is in celebration. You're going to be singing all of her songs. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It we will be. Yeah. Very, it's, it's, it, it always, it's always emotional when we do these shows. Yes. Up, 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 yes. up, up, you know, paying tribute to Miriam because we still cannot find closure yeah. to what happened. Yes. You know, it's... Mm. Every time we perform, it's like she's, she's with us. Yeah. You know, we, we can't let, it, let her go. That's you know? amazing. Yeah. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Ladies, thank you. Thank you so much for okay, being with us. Thank you. you. It's always yes. lovely to Thanks see you. Thanks for having uh, us. Man, Dorothy Masuko and Abigail Kubeka performing tomorrow night at the Akuruleni Jazz Comes Alive. Uh, I'm yes. going to find you details. I promise you. We're going to Google and find it all Please for do. you now. Right. So stay tuned. We'll see you after this. <laughs>